Today, top Republicans at the Capitol ramped up efforts to pass a sweeping early learning program that they say will declare war on Minnesota's achievement gap. Pat Kessler is at the Capitol right now and he joins us. So, Pat, the Republican plan is directly at odds with what Governor Dayton wants? Yeah, it really is 180 degrees different. Governor Dayton's made pre-kindergarten his top priority for the last two years of his administration. He wants this landmark legislation for the next couple of years, but Republicans do think they have a better idea. They're calling it a war on the student achievement gap, trying to improve learning skills of poor children of color who are falling behind students in the rest of the state. The plan includes targeting scholarships aimed at four-year-old children from families they say need the help the most. It's not necessarily giving every child the same thing. Um, it's giving each child what they need. And, and for children who are born uh, into poverty, who may not have, uh, the, again, those quality early childhood experiences that we know are so important to getting them ready for kindergarten, to developing those language skills and a rich vocabulary, um, we need to be reaching those children. And that's what scholarships does because you... Well, the governor's office is reacting sharply to this Republican plan. They say that it essentially defunds the voluntary pre-kindergarten program in Minnesota. Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith this afternoon calling it completely disconnected from what families want. Amelia, I think that this pre-K stuff is going to be perhaps the biggest issue at the end of the session in about four weeks. Yeah, and strong comments from the lieutenant governor today. Yeah. Yeah, really there was, and it's partly because Governor Dayton has made this a priority for several years, and he's not getting what he thinks needs to be done. He believes that this should be statewide, and it should be in every district for every family. Republicans say it should much more be targeted. That's going to be what Governor Dayton has hoped would be his legacy when he leaves office in 2019. All right, Pat. Thank you. You bet.